All right, hey guys, um, I got an email from Angela and she bought one of our flat masters. With her flat master, she got one of these link belts. And she has no idea what the heck to do with this link belt. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna kind of go through how to use a link belt, how to make it shorter, how to make it longer, how to put it together, and when to use the link belt. Um, so we're gonna start with how, or what a link belt is. It's what it sounds like. It's a belt that's made of a whole bunch of links. Um, so I can remove a link and I can make the belt shorter. Every time I remove a link, it changes this, it makes it smaller by about three quarters of an inch and I can add a link to make it longer. So how we put it together. Uh, first thing you're going to do on your flat master, Angela, um, depending what motor you put on your sander, it's going to determine how much belt you'll need. So you're going to measure it first off and you're going to potentially put it together and you may have to take one or two links out after you're done but um, what you're gonna do I'm gonna assemble this you got this little finger here and you got the slot here you're gonna slide that finger into that slot and spin it around okay so you see how I got that there I turn this uh, uh, inside out and then you got this little finger and we got to get that finger inside that slot so I'm gonna get my needle nose pliers Put it beneath that finger like that. I don't know if you can see that. Churn that so it slides up in that slot, just like that. Get your pliers, and you're going to pull that through. All right, so you see how I did that there. So now that I have this inside out, you're going to flip this. A lot of people think um, that you use the belt like this with these fingers up, but it does not work at all that way. Uh, make sure you flip it so the fingers are on the inside. Um, okay, so a lot of people use this link belt as an upgrade to any of their machines. Like the real cool thing about the link belt here, compared to a rubber belt. Rubber belts, um, see how that's an oval shape there. When I had this rubber belt sitting in a certain spot for a month or two at a time, it has a tendency to take the shape of however it's sitting, which in this case is an oval on this drill press. Um, so when I turn that drill press on, or my bandsaw, or my table saw, table saw is probably the biggest one, it's going to go whoop, 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 and you'll see that vibration in your spindle or in your blade, and you'll get that in your cut. Um, so a lot of guys are using this link belt as an upgrade to their existing machine. So you can buy it by the foot, or by in you know, a four foot length, or five foot length, and it sits right into your pulleys just like that. Now this is 3 8 link belt for this little drill press but half inch is also probably the more popular size. Um, you're gonna when you buy it measure the width of your pulley and that's gonna tell you how wide of length belt to buy so this is half inch here. Um, another thing that is very normal with the link belts if you see that rubber belt how it's sitting right inside that pulley with the link belt it often will sit, you see that, a little bit proud of the pulley. So it's always a little bit bigger than the existing rubber belts. Um, that's just the nature of it. So that's very normal for it to sit like that. So even though it's sitting proud of the pulley, you still got the right size length belt. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of a neat little product. Um, I hope that kind of gives you an idea how to use it, Angela. Um, but if anyone else has any other questions, comment on this video. Um, send me an email at info at stock and supply and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.